Hi, it's Michael from DNA here, and in the next few minutes, you're going to learn about collections in Zotero. And collections are a little bit like folders for filing your citations, but they behave a little bit differently from folders as you might understand them. Uh, and also tags and notes, which are tools that you can use to help file your citations effectively. Now, Zotero is a fantastic tool for all students, but if you're investigating this software due to a specific learning difference such as dyslexia or dyspraxia, then it's really worth thinking about these tools in relation to filing and organizing, because these are the kind of things that can become overwhelming when it comes to actually writing your essay and trying to produce a bibliography. But if you use Zotero properly, then it's going to make this process really easy. So here I am in Firefox again, and I'm going to go up and click on the Zotero icon. Now, just to make it a bit easier to see, I'm going to use this icon in the corner, toggle tab mode. And all that does is it extends Zotero so it fills the whole screen, and we can see what we're doing. Right, now I've got a couple of collections here, one on an essay that I'm going to write about Aztecs, and one about an essay that I'm going to write about the physiological basis for emotion. And what I want to do is just show you how these different collections work. They look like little folders, and you can create a brand new collection if you want by clicking on this button, the new collection button in the top left-hand corner. We're going to stick with the collections we've already got at the moment, though. Now, I'm just going to go into my library here. Now, the best way to think about my library is it's just a list of all the different citations that you have, irrespective of individual collections you might have made. Now... To show you how collections work, I'm going to choose this uh, citation here, as text and interpretation, and I'm actually going to drag it into the wrong folder. I'm going to put it into my physiological basis for emotion uh, folder there, and hopefully that's moved over. There we go, as text and interpretation. Now, what I want to show you is that if I click on Aztec research, I've also put the citation in there. Now, that's a really important thing to grasp. It doesn't work quite like folders as you might usually understand them. You can file your citations in lots of different folders, and that's a good thing because you might want to write a number of essays about the same type of research, and so therefore you might want to keep those relevant citations in a number of different folders at the same time. Now, if you want to delete one of these citations from one of your collections, uh, it's quite easy, but there's also things that you should be thinking about because deleting doesn't work in quite the same way as you might expect either. So I'm going to click on Aztecs and Interpretation, which is inside Aztec Research, and I'm just going to hit the delete button on my keyboard. And well, it's gone from the screen. It's disappeared, so it's deleted, isn't it? Well, no, it isn't actually deleted. If I click back onto my library, which if you remember is every single citation I've ever added we can see that Aztecs and Interpretation is still there. So hitting the delete key on your keyboard when you're in a collection to remove a citation just removes it from that collection. If you want to remove a citation from your library totally, then you'll need to come into My Library and then either hit the delete key again, or you can right click and you can move the item to the trash. And at that point it will give you a warning. Now it's also worth thinking about the controls on the right hand side of the screen here. If I just choose a citation, the info pane we should all be familiar with, that's all the information that you might want to export into Zotero later on. But we've also got notes and tags, and I'm just going to spend a brief bit of time talking about these. So tags are useful if maybe you're writing an article and you didn't want to create a collection for it, but you just wanted something to help you find this article later on when you're typing up this essay or article. So let's imagine that we're writing a paper about, uh, I don't know, teaching, teaching primates to play computer games. Uh, that's just come off the top of my head. We're going to use that. I'm going to go with it. So uh, I could tag this with games. Now once I've added that tag, what you'll find is that if you go up to the search bar at the top of the screen and type in games, only that citation is going to come up. So it's just an extra tool that you can use. Of course, if you were to type in other search terms that we haven't used as tags, for instance, if I type in intelligence, 
now we've got anything with intelligence written in it. So the search bar is going to look for tags and it's also going to look for words in your citations. So tags can be really useful if you want to make them searchable by a word or phrase that doesn't already appear in the citation itself. It's also useful to think about adding notes as well. I'm going to choose this emotional intelligence citation here and on the right hand side of the screen go into notes and click on add there. Now I've got a little word processor on the right hand side of the screen so if I was reading about emotional intelligence and why it can matter more than IQ I might be taking notes at this point and I might be quoting someone and then I might put in a page number so that when I come back to look at my notes I've got all my research in one place in Zotero. And it's also worth uh, noting if you look back at your citation it's just like when we downloaded PDFs in an earlier video. You've got these nested items inside your citation so now you can see your little note and if you want to get rid of it you could move it to the trash there and start a new note and uh, we've also got our snapshot of the uh, page that we clicked earlier on. So all those extra assets that you might create or might be imported when you download the citation they'll all live inside this citation here.